Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, I'm going to tell you some adabs which we should follow in our daily lives. We should try to follow the sunnah in everything that we do. Sunnah means something which our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us in the Quran that if we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we should follow the Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If we follow him, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love us and forgive our sins. Now I am going to tell you the adab of eating. Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu said, The Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, None of you should eat with his left hand or drink with it, because the shaitan eats with his left hand and drinks with it. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, When one of you eats, he should mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name. Say Bismillah or say the eating to her. Bismillah wa barakatillah. If he forgets to mention Allah's name at the beginning, then he should say when he remembers, Bismillah awwaluhu wa ahiruhu, which means, in the name of Allah, in the beginning and the end. Don't forget to wash both hands up to the wrist, rinse the mouth before beginning to eat, do not find faults in the food. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu reported that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never found fault with his food. If he liked it, he would eat it. If he disliked it, he left it. Also remember to remove your shoes before sitting to eat. You should, you should not eat while standing up. Sit on the floor to eat. Do not lean whilst eating. Eat with your right hand. It's best to use three fingers while eating. Do not eat hot food. Let it cool down. And keep remember, if you are sharing a plate with someone, then eat from the side that you are closest to. If any food falls on the table spread, eat it after removing any dirt. Finish the food on your plate. Lick your fingers. It is sunnah and also helps with digesting your food. When you are eating in a group, take one item at a time. Pray the dua after eating. Alhamdulillah alladhi atu'amana wa zuqana wa ja'alana muslimin. Which means, praise be to Allah who fed us, gave us drink and made us Muslims. After eating, rinse the mouth and wash the hands. Now I am going to tell you the adab of drinking. Our beloved messenger Muhammad وسلم, said, Do not drink water in one gulp like camels, but drink it in two or three sips. And say Allah's name when you begin, and praise him when you finish. Don't forget to drink from a cup and not directly from a large bottle. Say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim before you drink. Drink in three sips. Look inside the cup. Do not use gold or silver cups to drink from. Do not breathe into the cup. Do not drink from the chipped side of the cup. Drink whilst you are seated. Say Alhamdulillah when you finish. Now let me tell you the adab of sleeping. Bara radiallahu anhu reports that when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam goes to sleep, he puts his right hand under his right cheek and recites this dua. Allahumma bismika amutu wa ahya which means, O oh Allah, with your name I die and live. Keep remember to sleep with wuzu. Dust the bed before you lie down to sleep. Sleep on the right side. Sleep with your right hand under your right cheek. Do not sleep on your stomach and recite the dua. Also, breathe through till ikhlas, falak and nas. Blow into your palms and then rub them over the entire body three times, beginning with your head and reaching as far as possible. Recite subhanallah 33 times, alhamdulillah 33 times, and Allahu Akbar 34 times. And if you have a nightmare, then read, A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. 
which means I seek refuge in Allah Subhanahu wa Taala from the cursed shaitan. It's a bit long, but spend a few more minutes to read Surah Al-Mulk at night because it will lighten up your grave. I know Surah Al-Mulk by heart, so I read it every night. Don't forget to learn the adab of waking up. When the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam woke up from his sleep, he would say, "Alhamdulillah alladhi ahyana ba'dama amatana wa ilayhi an-nushur," which means, "All praise is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who gave us life after causing us to die, and to him is the return." Upon awakening, Always remember to recite the dua, rub your palms on your eyes to wipe the sleep away, wash your hands, brush your teeth, it's better to use a miswak. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us to wash germs away. Practicing a sunnah is not only rewarding but beneficial too. Now I am going to tell you something really important. The adab of using the washroom because it is all about hygiene. Anas radiyallahu anhu reports that when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would enter the washroom, he would say, "Allahumma inni a'uzu bika min al-khubuthi wal khabaith," which means. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from all evil and evil doers. When you are using the washroom, don't forget to cover your hair, recite the dua, enter with your left foot. Do not face your front or back towards the qibla. Sit and use the toilet. You should not stand and relieve yourself. Wash yourself with your left hand. Do not talk. Wash your hands with soap. Leave with your right foot. When you are leaving the washroom, don't forget to recite this dua. Ghufranaka alhamdulillahi alladhi adhaba anni al-adha wa afani. Which means, I seek your forgiveness. Praise be to Allah, who took away harm from me and relieved me. There are so many different adabs and manners to learn. But these but these adabs that I told you are the most important ones that we should follow every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching us. Alafis.